the how's it going today, all my YouTubians, Odysians, Slay and Saiyans, Cobra Kai's, and my pumpkin, uh, Hobie Smashing. I am Asherella, but seriously, I really want to know, like, how's it, how is it going today? Let me know how it's going today for you down in the comments. And I think I may have been channeling my inner Starfire a little bit with the, the how's it going today, guys. I don't know. I'm in a weird mood right now, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, how is it going today? Let me know. I am Asherella, original Asherella, and this is my channel, original Asherella. And about one month ago, a little band you may have heard of called The Smashing Pumpkins released a new song and a new video, and that's what we're going to be looking at and talking about today. Now, you may or may not know that this little band called The Smashing Pumpkins are my favorite band of all time. Um, I love me some pumpkins. Now, if you're here and watching this, you already know that. But, um, yes, Beguiled is the name of the song. We're going to try to watch the video. Hopefully, I'll be able to slip that up without it getting blocked. But if not, we're definitely going to be listening to the song and talking about and thinking about and reviewing and reacting and analyzing to the music and the lyrics as we do here on Original Asherella. And if you haven't heard this song yet, you'll be able to be like, yes, I did hear the new Smashing Pumpkin song on Original Asherella. We're going to jump in really quickly in just one second but before i do if you're watching on youtube make sure you, you subscribe to the channel if you're watching on odyssey you can follow the channel you can gently press the notification bell on either platform so you know every time i upload a video so don't forget to gently press the notification bell you can leave me a like you can leave me a comment and you can follow me original asherella on my things i have the twitter thing and i have the insta thing and i do have a twang in my thing Alrighty, guys we're gonna jump into the newest smashing pumpkins track beguiled now will you be beguiled by this video or beguiled by original asherella i don't know we'll see probably not but okay without further ado and me running my mouth let's watch this video and listen to this song Okay, from the video right off the bat, we've got some weird stuff going on. Um, there's the big, like, chess piece in the back. I don't know if that's, like, an allusion to, like, strategy or what, um, but very bright, very red. And then, you know, Billy, God love him. What's he doing? So swallow high the serpents Of many tags and faces Hit in fast All around the stone Until the ground Okay, the opening lyrics are So swallow hard the serpents Of many tags and faces Hit in mask Coiled round this lung Until the last Now I personally take that as, like, okay, it's no, like, secret that um, a lot of Smashing Pumpkin songs, well, okay, all of them are, like, draped in metaphor, right? Okay, but, um, and a lot of them have a lot of, like, religious metaphor and, like, you know, kind of Christian imagery and symbolism, and I think we're going there with this song with So Swallow Hard the Serpent. You know what I mean? Like that it could be interpreted as like Garden of Eden serpents. Um, we can take that as bad, mal, or evil just in general. But I personally think that this is saying, or my interpretation of this is, you know, evil wears many faces and has many disguises. And it's like that until like the day you die. Okay, I will say, uh, in this video, you got Mr. James Zeha over here and Jeff Schroeder on the other side, and they are both looking a fly AF. You know, James, really, he just, like, looks better with age, honestly. And Jeff, he was not an original pumpkin. He joined up um, when James left, actually, um, the you know, 
the time he left um zeitgeist era and um jeff is certainly a full-fledged pumpkin now like he wasn't an original member but i totally consider him a pumpkin uh you know we've had people in and out of the band over the years like um melissa octomar and nicole florentino but jeff has stuck and he is a great addition to the pumpkins in my personal opinion like i wouldn't want to get rid of him you know i wouldn't trade him for darcy or anything like that They should have let me play this part. Um, okay, but those last, like, lyric verse, um, it's like young pagans, cause like you, I was hatched to the trapeze on cold, and 17's a long drawn way from hope. Okay, so I think this song in general is like a cautionary song, if you know what I'm saying, like regarding evil in the world, or, and, and, and if you apply the song to something other than just straight up like religion, um, you know, any situation in which there are, there is light and dark or good and bad or a balance between two things, you know what I'm saying? I personally think this song sounds very Zeitgeist era. Um, if you are familiar with the album Zeitgeist, which I kind of think is underrated, honestly. Like, the Pumpkins are certainly a band where you can sit down and listen to every album consecutively and hear the evolution of the music and the musicians. Like, absolutely. You can hear the changing of the times, the decades, the maturity of the musicians. Um, just by like listening through these albums. I however think that this song could totally it sounds like it could fit into Zeitgeist. It is Zeitgeist is a great album. I honestly I consider Zeitgeist kind of an exhibition period of the Smashing Pumpkins because really it was like Billy and Jeff. Jeff was there. But um none of the original members um were around really. You know, Jimmy was kinda in and out. Um but um you know this song has very much a zeitgeist feel, and that is just my opinion. I don't know. All my pumpkin people out there, let me know what you think about that. Now, that being said, like, the chorus of the song is return the faith. Return the faith, right? Okay, that is what we're talking about in the song, faith. Now, um, you can absolutely apply this, like, less, uh, you know, figuratively, um, and it, I mean, you can take the song literally as being, like, you know, get back to your faith and your religion being whatever that is. However, you know, it can be, you know, like a metaphor for some other type of situation in which you have to have, like, belief. You know what I'm saying? And it's no secret that, um, you know, Billy Corgan is pretty religious. You know, I mean, he's definitely um, of the Christian faith. And Smashing Pumpkin songs from the beginning are draped in like Christian metaphor. And I think I said that already, maybe, but like that is just kind of like what they do. And um, I really appreciate that. I personally am not super religious. Like I'm kind of, I'm of the vibes, but really when you break everything down to its most simple form, every religion has some sort of like, manifestation of energy that you are trying to put out into the world through prayer or meditation or sending out the vibes you know what i mean and so like at, at its very rawest core like nothing is all that different really um but anywho i could go off on a tangent on that let's listen to this song This 
song really does, um, you know, it rocks. Like, it's got, like, that very, um, you know, forward-moving, driving, like, da-na-na, da-na-na, like, going through it. And I really like that. Um, I'm sure we're going to get some kind of Billy solo. Honestly, I've listened to this song a couple times before, but I tried not to listen too intently because I like my, for when I'm listening to something new, my reactions to be as like instant and in the moment as they can be. So let's go anyway. It's like, I wonder whose kids these are that they like were like, hey, you want to be on the Smashing Pumpkins video? <laughs> Get your Halloween costume from last year. I do love this. Like, the rhythm of the song is really really rocking you know what i mean i, I like it okay so this says so as betrayed by rainbows here i convey convey the sold out of your dear cuz and the king has placed us in his jaws. Now, if that's not alluding to like God, it, God and our situation in a Christian perspective, I'm not sure what is. Like I said, not particularly religious um, myself, but I definitely see that metaphor. I will say back to like, and I keep talking about this and I'm so sorry, but like I've said this before. And I'm sure in some video I will say it again. But my favorite, my absolute, absolute favorite line or lyric in any song ever, like any Smashing Pumpkin song, any song that has ever, ever existed in the world is from In the Arms of Sleep, off of the song, uh, or off of the song In the Arms of Sleep from Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. And it is, she comes to me like an angel out of time as I play the part of a saint on my knees. Now, if that, and, and that's in, like, a love song, and, like, it is, like, one of the most, like, like, desperate and, like, intense lyrics, and it just creates such a vivid picture. I always end up talking about that, and I'm going off on a tangent. I'm sorry. Okay, back to Beguiled. Y'all know Billy Corgan owns the NWA and not the straight out of Compton NWA, like the National Wrestling Association. Um, I don't know if this guy's just an actor or if he's somebody that is part of that, but that'd be cool if it was. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, there's a couple different ways that I, I'm trying to decide exactly how I feel about, like, this Return the Faith lyric. Like, okay, is it, like, okay, are, is it a request? Like, please re return the faith, like, I am putting faith out there, please return it. You know what I mean? Like, like, get, give back what you're getting as far as, like, that kind of thing goes. Or, is it, like... Like, get, like you've strayed, like a singular person has strayed from faith. So, there, you know, it's a request to like, 
go back to it. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not. Okay, a better way to say what I was just trying to say is, like, is it saying, like, return the faith that you're, like, given, like, put back out what you, you know, put out what you get or, you know, return the faith or the whatever or the vibes, whatever, um, or is it, like, return to faith? Is it saying that, like, you know, you need to get back to the vibes and back to the faith? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Okay, I see Mr. Eha, and I see Mr. Schroeder, and then we've got somebody else back here, and Billy. Where, where's Mr. Chamberlain in this video? Have we seen Mr. Chamberlain in this video? I don't think we've seen Mr. Chamberlain in this video. Maybe I'm wrong. Look at this little one over here. She's like, yeah, I'm doing what they're telling me. Yes. But um, I will say, Billy is ever so theatrical in everything he does. Is he not? And I love it. I am so here for it. Like, I have loved me some Billy Corgan since I was 11 years old. And, you know, if I have faith in anything, it is that I will, my favorite band will always be the Smashing Pumpkins. Very good, very good, very good. I love it. Yay, I love it. Okay. Oh, nope. We're not going to listen to Chair Brock. We could listen to Chair Brock, though. I love Chair Brock. Um, I love my strawberry shortcake, therm strawberry shortcake thermos. Now, totally aside and apart from this video, because I'm in a weird mood right now, I would like to say that these old school thermoses, like this is a vintage strawberry shortcake thermos. I got it at a consignment shop at a Goodwill, actually. And it was in like pristine condition and I love it and I have the top and I have the little mug lid for it But I wish that they would make some type of adapter for these old-school thermoses that weren't like the spout That like pours out, you know what I'm saying? Because I would love to be sitting around sipping my coffee out of an actual lid rather than Just the top of the strawberry shortcake thermos um, because I'm not going to sit here and drink out of that spout, my coffee out of that spout, but I do love drinking out of my strawberry shortcake thermos. Somebody make a generic thermos cap that fits these old school lunchbox thermoses. I will buy one. I will buy one. Okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> I have rambled a lot. Okay, that was Beguiled, the newest song and video from the Smashing Pumpkins. What do you think about it? I like it. I love it. I love me some pumpkins. Um, it's, Billy Corgan does no wrong for me, but every now and then there will be a pumpkin song that I just don't like as much. This is not one of them. I think it's great. It is, it's catchy. You know, um, it rocks. Um, the lyrics are very, very Billy Corgan. Like, it's everything good smashing pumpkins. Like I said, I do feel like it sounds kind of zeitgeisty era, and that's cool. That's fine. Um, I love that. Um, I, if you've never listened to Zeitgeist, like if you're a casual Pumpkins fan, but you've never listened to Zeitgeist, I highly recommend listening to it. Um, just as a side note for anybody who likes the Pumpkins, but isn't hardcore Pumpkins, that has never really listened to it. Um, but yeah, Beguiled, you know, we have a lot more new Smashing Pumpkin stuff coming down the pipe soon, um, from, you know, William Patrick and the boys. So, I will be doing some more Smashing Pumpkins reaction videos to some new stuff too. And then, of course, always doing the Smashing Pumpkins reaction videos to the old stuff also. Um, what songs do you want me to do next? Um, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Let me know what you think about Beguiled. Let me know what you want me to do next as far as Smashing Pumpkins videos. Let me know what you want me to do next as far as anything. 
Um, and let me know how you're doing today in the comments below. I am Asherella. This is Original Asherella. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. If you're watching on Odyssey, follow. You can gently press the notification bell on either platform so you know every time I, Asherella, upload videos. So gently press, leave me a like, leave me a comment, and follow me on my things. I have the Insta thing and I have the Twitter thing. Also, if you are not following my channel on Twitch, follow my channel on Twitch. It is different content than I do here. It is a live show on Sundays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a movie show. It's really fun. It's a really good time. And a lot of times we watch Beavis and Butthead after the movie. So check that out on Twitch. It's Kino and Commentary, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sundays on Twitch. On Original Asherella, always tap in, never tap out, and don't forget to keep on smashing like a pumpkin.